Hey, Mr. Bailey's class. Bummed to be missing working with you because I really enjoy working with the students in this class, but I'm excited that you're going to have the opportunity to do your typing practice, of course, but also work on coding. Coding, as you may remember, is how scientists communicate with computers using a language that computers understand. And we made a course for you that you can work on your coding skills. You can work um, and learn at your own pace. And I'm going to show you how to get to the coding course and what I would like you to work on today. So check it out. When you log into your Chromebook, you see Rapid Identity with all of the different programs. And you'll start with Canvas. You click on Canvas, and it logs you in. And then you look for my face. I've got glasses. You look for the Mr. Auslander face, and you click on it. And this is the first grade technology page. We scroll down. And we look for Mr. Bailey's class. And we click on it. And then we click on we click on your name. I'm going to pretend to be Sammy. So I'm going to click on Sammy's name. Then it asks for his pass picture. And Sammy's pass code picture is like a chipmunk. Where is that chipmunk? Where is that chipmunk? Right there. How did I miss him? Maybe it's a rabbit. I don't even know what that is. That's his pass picture. And after I click the pass picture, I click sign in. And it shows me what to do. I finished all of lesson three. And now I'm on lesson four. Lesson four, part two, part three, part four. And I would just click on the next part, part five. And I'm going to try to get as far as I can. So check it out. Here, I'm the angry bird and my back is to you. I know I'm going to move forward once. And then I'm going to make a right, turn right. Let's see what that looks like. I'm going to click step by step. First I move up. Then I turn that way. I make a right. But I think I need one more. I'll move up. I'll go that way. And I'm going to go that way one more time. Then I would click continue and get to the next part. And when you finish a part, it turns green. Ooh, check this out. Move once, move twice, move three times. I can use a repeat block. I'm going to move this way three times. Check it out. Three times. Once twice, three times. That's how you do a repeat block. That's a repeat block. Instead of using, instead of having one, two, three, I could just say, go that way three times. That's a repeat block. And then I would need to go down, I think, right? So I'd go one, two, three, and then go down. Let's see if that works. <laughs> sure does. So this is a challenge puzzle, which are hard. You can skip it or you can try it if you're ready. Challenge puzzles are not, are not easy. Once you finish every part of lesson four, you can go to the extras. And you can try these challenges. And when you finish every single part of lesson four, you would click finish the unit and you'd start lesson five. But take your time. It's not easy. Do your best to finish lesson three, all the parts, and then work on lesson four. You can do the extras. 
do your very best. If it's hard, if you have a hard time, ask a, ask a neighbor, ask a classmate to help you. Let's help each other out. Let's do the best we can because guys, coding isn't easy. Coding is hard, but we can do it. Do your best, boys and girls.